here with Karen Burke and Betty Davidson of the Reading Scholarship Foundation. Uh, can you give us a little history and background on what it is that the Scholarship Foundation does? Yes. Uh, in 1967, the president of the Reading College Club appointed a committee to look into the feasibility of having a town-wide scholarship fund. So they researched and looked into Wakefield and Winchester's program and decided that the Reading program would be more closely aligned with Wakefield because both towns um, felt that when organizations and business people and individuals came together, they could pool their resources and uh, get more actively involved. So uh, we followed Wakefield's guide, and in, uh, 80, in um, 19... 69, <laughs> there was a townwide meeting held, and uh, then in May of 69, they formed a committee, they had a meeting, um, had their bylaws, all the legal uh, aspects were covered, they had an election, the class of 69 donated the $25 incorporated fee, <laughs> and on the 30th of July, 1969, we became an, a corporation. And uh, in 1970, we held our first awards ceremony when 57 students were awarded just about $13,000 in Fantastic. scholarships. Yes. So what is it that you do now? How do you raise funds for this project? Uh, we raise funds from the community, and we are very grateful for all that the community has done to enable us to give out these scholarship awards. Individuals set up memorials in the name of someone. Businesses and organizations within the town of Reading donate regularly, and the citizens of Reading have very generously supported the Scholarship Foundation through the years. So how are awards um, presented or awarded? Well, we have an awards committee that uh, meet, but first of all, of course, there's the application pro mm -hmm. pro uh, beginning, and uh, Students are advised through the Chronicle and the Advocate and RCTV, I think, <laughs> and the high schools that uh, the applications are available. So the students submit their applications and they submit financial information to the FAFSA program. And uh, then our committee meets and goes through the different awards and the need based, because most all of our scholarships are based on need for mm -hmm. the students. And uh, then we have our awards night program in June uh, during graduation week. Uh, so what can a community member who's interested in helping the Scholarship Foundation do um, to support them? Get in touch with Karen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one thing. Um, and I think our uh, contact information is available on the screen. But if not, it's at our website, which is Reading SF. Org, R E A D I N G S F dot org. Um, they can encourage college students and high school seniors to apply for scholarships. So far, since our inception, we have given out over $3 million in wow. scholarship funds. And every year, we hope to increase the amount that we're able to give out for the year. So we encourage applicants. They can support us financially. We certainly are grateful for donations that help us to give more scholarship funds. We can also accept donations through PayPal. Uh, we welcome new board members if you're interested in working with our group. The board is all volunteer, and we really enjoy what we're doing. So you can contact me using the addresses that we gave. And we are very grateful for the contributions of everybody in Reading who has helped us. Once a year in March, we do an annual mailing, and everyone in town gets a copy of our brochure. And in it, you will see the awards that we have so far. Um, this is over 100 memorial funds, and there are, um, in addition, there are about 20 businesses and 30 organizations which supported us last year in 2014. So there are lots of ways to help 
further the cause. Fantastic. I'd just like to say that the memorial funds are really extraordinary. Um, in 1984, we had seven memorial funds, and today we have 110. Wow. <laughs> and it's, it's really remarkable, the wide range of people who set up these memorial funds, bequests in wills, and uh, just really just marvelous support and uh, is a great source for our endowment. Is there anything else about the Reading Scholarship Foundation that the public should know? Well, they can look for our logo, uh, <laughs> which appears on uh, our brochure and also appears on the town common from time to time through the year to remind people of who we are and what we're trying to do. And just continue to be the great community that Reading is. Thank you so and much thank for, you for having us. <laughs> You're thank welcome. You. Thank you for, for being with us today. Um, I'm going to send it back over in the studio to Ryan.